Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is a, a workaround how to mask the edges of something. Okay, so let's start with Nomads Cult. So let's create a new scene, delete everything, post process off, and we need an example. So let's add a yeah add a sphere perspective of. So let's validate this object. This is a wireframe, so yeah, it's okay. So first we need a layer for this. Add a layer and the layer needs a paint, um, um, a color. So the color is complete. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter which color uh, painted. So the next thing is you have to mask this object. So and and now create the um, the faces you want an outline or something. So maybe something like this. So we only want here the outline of this um, unmasked area. So the next thing here is then add a new layer and you need always two different colors. So um, maybe give them uh, such a color and paint this. So and when you look clearly at this, you see here at the edges is a, is a such a blurry thing here. Um, so this thing we need. So now it's possible via the mask menu to split this mesh. So we can use the, the smoothness and to get a, a smooth edge. So split this mesh if you like it like this. So and here you see on this mesh here, the, the blurry edge, and this is the border. So, sorry, I have to redo this. And now it's possible to use the layers, uh, the color of the layer, and mask this here. So, mask it, and you see only the inside is mask so you can invert the mask now and now only the border is masked so if you like you can now join the objects back together it's now one mesh so and now you can use uh, for example the gizmo to scale it or um, it's also possible to invert the mask and uh, use the, the inflate tool. To do such things here. And it's also possible to blur the mask here. And use then the inflate tool. Um, our poly count is at the moment real low, but um, you see here only the um, the edges affected here. So yeah, you can use it for uh, yeah such line things and and so on. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.